Yes. Hello. Um, today I am going to be making a 1960s costume. It is inspired by, it's a replica actually, not inspired by, it's a replica of Dusty Springfield's dress from a performance she done in 1963. I don't know, here's a clip of it. Move your body all around and just shake, yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous, I love it. It's velvet and it's like, I've got all these embroidered flowers on the front. It's gonna take ages, but I love it. It doesn't feel very sexy, does it, right now? Hold on, wait. Yeah, now I look like I'm from the 60s, yeah. <laughs> nah. The bobbed hair couldn't stay, I didn't like the bobbed hair for Kelsey Elliot. We have Dusty Springfield herself. Oh, she fell, okay. There we go. Oh, it dripped on my bed. I knew it. Anyway, here's the 60s. So, yeah, here she is. That's Dusty. That's Dusty Springfield. This here is the costume we're going to be making today. I can't see with these on. Here you go. <laughs> we have a meter of um, maroon velvet. It's cotton velvet. I have two or three meters of lining fabric, which is pink because I thought that would be good enough for it. I have 10 meters of embroidered flower trim, um, pink obviously, it matches, matches well enough. And then three zippers, two short zippers, two, I think they're maybe 10 or 11 inches, because they go on the arm, because of how tight the cuff is, and because it's not stretchy fabric, you have to zip it and like, zip it open to get your arm in, and then like zip it closed. That's it. Uh, let's get going. Woo! Oh, right. Oh, I just had some. Um, I've only done one sleeve because I can't be bothered to know it. Here is the sleeve. Can you see it? It's a bit weird with this fabric, but I have a base idea of what I'm doing to get the sleeve to, to stay up like that. Might take it in a bit because hers seems to be smaller. I like that kind of idea. Um, I'm gonna have to put two layers on it because it very thin. This isn't the fabric I'm using obviously, but that pink fabric I've got is very thin as well. It's kind of like exactly like this, so I'm gonna have to do my best to try and um, stay modest. <laughs> so I'd actually forgotten to put in the picture of the pattern for the costume, so here it is. I'll try and explain it best as I can. So for the bodice you cut out two of the front pieces and two of the back pieces. Um, obviously one for the front section and one for the lining. And then you cut out a rounded piece for the neck to go on the curve. For sleeves, you cut out larger, kind of puffier sleeves at the top. And then for the bottom, if you're gluing on the flowers at the bottom, you want to cut out another section for lining that's like um, up to the, about the elbow maybe. And then for the skirt, you want to put um, the belt on the fold, but you actually want it to be two layers. So put it on the fold and then so over two layers so you've got like one lining and then one fashion front for the skirt the skirt's just a pencil skirt um if you know how to make them it's basically just a rectangle with tapered top like the curve up to the top i would suggest making a mock-up out of a fabric that you don't mind using because you don't want to be wasting like all your good fabric on it just like i did with this velvet i had to order another meter because I fucked up. <laughs> I didn't get much, uh, much footage of me sewing it, so I'm truly sorry. It's basically just sewing up a bodice, and there's no real way to show you how to do it. It's just you sew it up. It's not very complicated. It's not a complicated piece. It's not got like different things on it. I just finished sewing this up, and um, it's actually the first thing that fits the mannequin completely. If it had the zipper on it. But, anyways, um. I forgot to film it really. I only filmed me sewing like maybe that part and then stopped. Um, I did sew the skirt together and I fucked it up because it doesn't fit and it's kind of depressing because it's good fabric and I don't know what to do so sad times like it's it's just way too small. I cut it far too small. I had to add like a section here. This is the back of it and it's still too small and I'm really sad. I'm just going to put on the little um 
flowers that I've been thinking. So I'm just going to set on my bed. I'm going to, there's a lot of them. They go all over here, down the front, on both sleeves, and on the back of the dress. Um, so I've got a lot of work. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of went on um, like a tangent and just started, <laughs> I glued them all on without filming it. Really all I did was cut them off the strings and then hot glued them on. I couldn't be bothered to sew them all on, look how many there are. So um, I added on the flowers, I didn't do the back because you're not going to see the back, unfortunately. What I had done was I made two separate layers of the bodice and glued them together because without it it is incredibly thin. So it's a, it's a bit thicker, but it's still really thin. And for the sleeves, I made a bit that was this size in the same shape of the sleeve and then sewed it inside. So that's that acts as like a lining. It's really like only halfway down the sleeve though. So <laughs> you could, if you wanted to, make it the entire way up the sleeve and just make the sleeve two layers. But yeah, there it is. It's just like a lining part inside. I hand sewed it in. Um, just to keep it in place. It doesn't really need to look pretty because no one's going to see the inside. That's why they're, all the edges are left raw. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is the top so far. I've done it to both sleeves, just so you know. It's both. Just because <laughs> it looks so gorgeous. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> um, but I still think it looks really, really pretty. It's gorgeous. It's one of my favourite costumes so far. It did take about a good, I'm not going to lie, like a good hour. So if you're going to make this or make something like this. I suggest cutting all the flowers out separately instead of cutting them out individually and then gluing them on and then having to cut out another one, then glue it on. Cut them all out first and then just put them in like a box or something and then you have your glue gun beside you. Or if you're gonna sew them on, cut them all out. Um, after you've done that, I would suggest getting a long playlist. It took me about an hour and a half to maybe do the front and then like 30 minutes each for the sleeves. Or not even 30, maybe 20. I didn't um, end up adding the cuff, the zipper to the cuff, because it was tight enough and loose enough to get my hand through, so good. If you want, you could add the zipper. Um, you would just have to add the zipper here, like where the seam is at the side, so it doesn't look noticeable. And yeah, that's it for the top. As for the skirt, here it is. Oh, it's got the threads on it oops it's a pencil skirt mostly with this tapered um triangle at the top and then this gets either you can pin this or you can i was gonna put a pop um popper thing whatever they're called um a metal popper on here and so it can like pop on and off to the top without having a big like pin in the middle <laughs> that's a good joke i got lazy i didn't do that i pinned it um but if i can't find any i'll just use a pin that's the same color it's a pencil skirt with a vent at the back, so it's got a vent here. Not a very good one, um, but this is my first time making something like this, and yeah, it's, it's quite nice. It's a very pretty colour. It's very, it's it's very wrinkled. This is I didn't realise how um, wrinkled this velvet would get. It's not because it's been in like it's been sitting on the desk for like the past two days. So um, forgive me. I don't know how you iron velvet without crushing the pile because if you you have to have a velvet board to iron velvet, which is kind of dumb. But anyway, after I done that, I added a zipper in. The wrong color, mind you. Don't, don't, <laughs> just don't look at my zipper. And then it broke. So this is my zipper situation so far. It's, <laughs> I mean, it works. It is, it's very noticeable. But I don't really care because you don't look at the back of the costume. Oh, you want to see the front, okay? You see the front and that's all. So yeah, I'm going to go show you what it looks like on because um, I'm very proud of it, actually. That's one of my favourite costumes I've ever made.
this is really awkward to film out. <laughs> oh yeah. So, but I'm in my mum and dad's room, that's the only plain wall that's in the house, so... <sighs> yeah, that's that. I'm really impressed with it. Usually I would get my friend Charlotte to model it for me, but because of Covid and all the restrictions in the UK, I can't, so... I'll model it, I don't mind. I like it. I'll wear it. I don't know where I'll wear it. I'll wear it somewhere. I don't know. As the Tesco. Why, why not? You know. Looking my best. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I did film this in December. Well, this now is February. Like, the end, like, 28th of February. So, <laughs> I filmed the start of it in December. I have now just finished it. Um, don't, don't judge me. I school, you know, Zoom, which I've not been doing because I can't be bothered. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Um, if you have any suggestions for what you want me to make, I'll make it because I don't have any more ideas. I mean I do, but I can't be bothered to pull through with them. So if you want me to make anything specific, please comment it and I shall make it for you. 